Hi, we are here to interview Sigmund Franka, the CEO of Talino. He's here to tell us about strategy going forward. Uh, he was once the chairman of DG. Talino has a 49% stake in DG Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia, sir. Tell us about your plans uh, going forward for Talino Asia. Telenor came to Malaysia uh, in 1999, 15 years ago. That was the first investment we had in Asia. We saw that we would be able to ride a mobile wave, connecting people to mobile phones. Uh, and we have been very satisfied with uh, on both what we have done in Malaysia, but also what we are now are doing in six Asian markets, having uh, almost 200 million customers. Now we see that that wave is starting to end because more or less everyone has a mobile phone. But a new wave is coming and that's the digital wave where people are changing their behavior to be consumers of digital services. And we want to be a part of that wave as well, transforming ourselves from a telco into a digital. The same way as we have uh, uh, transformed ourselves from a fixed telephone players into mobile. And this is a great opportunity in this space. And actually, I think that Asia will be the center of digital innovation in the years to come, both on the devices, on social network, but on new type of products and services. And that's why we have just started our journey in Asia. And, and we want to be a part of, of this development in the years to come as well. Will there be partnerships uh, uh, with other companies so that you can achieve this goal? Now that's probably the biggest change. Uh, in the past, we did more or less everything ourselves. We were in control of the entire value chain, so to speak. In the future, that's going to be very different. It's going to be partnership models. It goes to be joint ventures. It's going to be corporations between ourselves and digital players. Uh, and we need to position ourselves such that we are able to be good partners, not only having a, a vendor relationship with new players. That being local partners, and we want to be a part of developing uh, startups, uh, digital startups in Malaysia. That could be regional uh, partners and it could be global partners. So yes, in the future, we need to be a part of an ecosystem, not only a telecom, uh, being a telecom operator. How do you see the Malaysian operations? Earnings are a bit down last, uh, last year. There's a lot of competition on the local scene. How do you see DG going forward? Well, we are in a very competitive industry in Malaysia and globally. And, uh, and sometimes the competition uh, is rough. Uh, and I think the last uh, couple of years in Malaysia has been a rough competition. Uh, and that's the reason why the industry as such had a negative growth last year. And that's actually a pity because we are delivering more and more service to our customers. And we also see that our customers are willing to pay for that.